Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I have this 2015 Kia Soul. This is actually my own car that got attacked by the Kias, Kia boys. And they broke the ignition. Okay. So I just got this ignition out and I have ordered a new replacement from the dealership on back order for a few weeks uh, finally came in brand new ignition with brand new keys however I, I like to keep using my old original key because this matches the door and that's what was coded to the VIN number you know so in case if you ever lose this key could easily order a new key from the dealership that would instantly work with this car. Alright, so the way you remove your old ignition, if it's still somewhat functional, is that you have to put it in accessory mode. So turn it to the, I believe, second click, and then right here, there's a hole, and you just have to put a a pick or a screwdriver or something and what you're doing you're actually pushing on this button right here and once you push this down it just slides out as one whole piece so today I'm going to be showing you how to recode the original ignition to the original key sorry the new ignition to the original key Sorry about that, I keep getting interrupted with my work phone. But today what we're gonna be doing essentially is rekeying this ignition and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to find a place to put this phone and I think we're gonna go with it there. Hopefully that's a good um, viewing point. So now we have the old ignition and the new ignition. First thing you want to do, you want to remove this uh, ring clip over here. Once you remove that, we should be able to just put our original key in, take it out. Now, this is what we need. We actually need those um, pins or wafers out of the old ignition cylinder. And we're going to be transferring these over to the new one. Uh, show you how to do that so i'm gonna put this aside for now this is the new ignition show you how to take it out take it apart first thing we want to move want to remove this um uh, like almost uh the cylinder light i guess or indicator to make it easier for you to see the key at night. So, put this aside. There is um, two rubber grommets in here that we want to take out. Let's take out the first one. Put her aside, make sure you don't lose it. And now we're able to get this to slide out. Still hits this pin here. And remember, this only uh, gets pushed in all the way when you have it in accessory mode. Yep. Now we got this sleeve off. And the next thing we want to do is we want to rotate this counterclockwise to get it to release. But as you can see, it hits a second rubber grommet. So we're going to take that out. Okay. And now we have 
this off. Let's see. Boom. Right there is the ignition cylinder core with all the wafers intact. Let's compare it to the old one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So technically we're only missing the first two. Which is a good thing. Should be able to transfer most of these over with no problem. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Be careful, once you remove the key from the core, these wafers wanna jump out since they're spring loaded. So be extra caution doing this because you don't want them to come out and then you ended up misplacing them or losing them or putting them back in the wrong order. That will not work. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try swapping them over side by side. Like so. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing, but literally just swapping the these wafers out from one to another. Oh, I don't have to put it back in the old one. I'm not going to be using it. I just doing it so I could uh, know which ones I've done completed already. It's very important not to mix these or mess them up. You want to do it in order. Typically, I would do this on bench with my rubber mat but today we're going to be working on doing it on the car I guess they changed their mind all right, so now I want to test half of these wafers. They should. Yep. Wow, that's that's pretty pretty close. Flip it aside, and let's do the other side. Now we're gonna have two extras on the new one since we were missing them from the old one. But uh, I think it should be okay if we remove them. It's not a big security concern, especially the fact that somebody's trying to steal this car. A screwdriver would do it. 
So it's not gonna stop them. Okay, let's test it out. That looks pretty good, except for this one here, which is the one that we were missing. So I'll just go ahead and remove this and I want to remove the spring as well and let's test it out now let's put it back Okay, I don't want to come out. Okay. That works perfectly fine. The old, I mean, obviously this is not gonna work. Now it works with the original key, as you can see. Now it's time to put everything back. And that's just the reversal of taking it off. I don't know if you can see this, right over here that goes in like that it lines up with this one here and then we'll bring the rubber grommet which holds it in place push that in and that's secured next thing you want to do we want to put this plastic sleeve over and just trying to figure out how it goes I know it goes like this. But remember, this needs to be in accessory mode for this pin to go down. So let's do that. Oh, that's done. There we go, our rubber grommet back in here. Put this back in place. That's supposed to slide. Yep, slides and clicks in place. This here goes back over here. It's not that complicated, guys. It just, it's a little bit of a uh, time consuming that's all now don't forget to put this ring back in place that holds the lock prevent it from sliding forward See, this is when special tools comes in handy, man. Because I, I can't find mine. Misplaced it somewhere. And it makes the job 10 times harder to do it without it. Still get it done. Just a little bit harder. There you go. Going in. Sorry about that, I gotta take this call. And now that we have it back together, as you can see, it's time to put it back and test it out. So, 
This goes in like so. But I believe we need to have the key in accessory mode to put it back. So, yep, there you go. Pop that click. This connector goes here. Okay, now let's try it out. Okay, it works perfectly fine, like it should, with the original key, without having to use separate keys for the door and the ignition. I'm sure a lot of guys are victims of the Kia boys lately, including myself. They actually broke the rear glass on the other side, got in, attempted to, to steal it. Obviously, they damaged my ignition. They damaged plastic pieces around the steering column. And I was left with a broken window and a broken ignition. But hopefully this video will show you how to do it yourself. And even code it to the original key. If you still have the old ignition. Now in case if you don't you uh, might want to call a professional locksmith that could do it for you or you could just order these pins or wafers from the dealership they have small small numbers printed on them let me show you right here i have a couple extras Get the camera to focus as you can see this is a number three right there and that's how you could identify them and match them to your original key by this number here remember careful not to lose these small springs when doing this job that's it. I'm going to put everything back together and this one should be done. Good to go. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, if it was beneficial, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Always be safe.